job. I'm going to Paris this morning, so of course I'm having a last minute outfit panic. I really wanted to wear this cute leopard print coat, but now I'm scared. I also don't know which sunglasses to wear. What do you think? These are much cooler, but are they too much with the leopard print? I still have my brace in, by the way, if I'm lisping. Oh, you know when you're just not? Like, I've literally been up since the crack of dawn because I wanted to curl my hair. The curls need to settle, so the curls look weird. And I have taken now as the moment to wear a leopard print coat. Maybe this is not the vibe. I just thought it would be so cute in photos. I have this jacket from Adelda Story that I could also wear. Now, this jacket is always cute, but the only thing is, I just know I'll be freezing. What do you think? Part of me is like, maybe I take the leopard print coat just for pick to get cute pics I don't know or we go for our trusty reliable burgundy leather jacket I mean I know as soon as I put this on every time it's always a yes it always looks good maybe I'll just wear this this is what I don't love about leaving super early in the morning because I just have like the biggest crisis of confidence and there's no time <laughs> There's no time to talk myself down and I also have, you know, you know when you haven't felt the vibes for the day yet You don't know what you're feeling like wearing and you're just like Okay, so from the top we have got Mimi sunglasses I actually have a cute pair of YSL sunglasses that I might swap out But these just are more fun in my opinion I then have a Tala body in this brown colour It's high neck, lovely I've got my burgundy Jane and Tash leather jacket And then I've got a brown belt, I think this was from Mango, love it, really nice and easy and simple. And then my cos jeans, which I'm not taking off at the moment, and some old little low heeled sock boots because I don't want to be uncomfy, but I also still want the sock boot vibe. The only annoying thing is my jeans are just ever so slightly, like they're literally a millimetre from the ground. So avoiding puddles at all costs today. And then I have my YSL bag. This is why I didn't go for the YSL sunnies because I felt like it would be too much. And obviously a giant suitcase for one night because nothing new to see here. Thanks. It is not the best weather. Who said it was good weather when we were on our way out here? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I have arrived in Paris. I am getting ready for dinner out tonight with my coat still on because my room is freezing. Paris is actually very chilly today. I was told it was going to be warmer than it is. I was also told it was going to be sunny and I arrived and it was peeing it down with rain so yeah we're gonna have to make do but anyway i'm just waiting for a steamer to come to my room because my dress did not travel well and in the meantime i thought i would do my makeup because i think we're gonna be a little bit tight on time this evening we're having an early dinner i'm going to be pulling together glam in record time luckily i'm actually wearing a body that unzips so i'm not gonna mess any of this up but anyway we are in paris because we're actually going to a l'oreal fragrance exhibition tomorrow which i'm really looking forward to fragrance is just one of my beauty related passions i could listen to people talk about fragrance forever so i'm very very grateful to have been invited on this trip, especially by L'Oreal because they own so many of my favorite fragrances. So I'm really looking forward to tomorrow, but also just looking forward to dinner tonight. We're going to Monsieur Bleu. Bleu? I think I've been there before, years and years ago, maybe during fashion week, again with L'Oreal. Yeah, looking forward to just nice, girly dinner and i also think we have some free time tomorrow morning so i'm excited to just get to spend hopefully a little bit of time in paris that's a weight off my mind because the dress that i wanted to wear and i did not bring backups today which is shocking by the size of my suitcase the dress i wanted to wear is so close i am loving this charlotte tilbury highlighter at the moment i will link it for you i'm also going to show you tomorrow morning the daytime glam that i've been doing it is so nice and so quick and so easy for my eyes at the moment i am just obsessed with just running a dark brown like varying dark browns along my lash line it looks so nice okay this mascara is running out which is tragic luckily i brought a backup this is ysl oh crap it's brown. Well, that's tomorrow's mascara. 
Okay, we're gonna have to make this work. Keep me in your thoughts. Let's hope this pulls through because mascara is the one thing you can't borrow of other people. Okay, not the worst. I mean, they're quite clumpy, but this will have to do. <laughs> this blush is the perfect blush. I mean, it's just a perfect blush. I, sh I could just end the sentence there. It's perfect for like evenings out because it's not super pink and subtle and like soft. It's like this bronzy, pinky, mauve colour that like contours the face, lifts, but still adds like a juiciness to the cheeks. It's just honestly one of my favourite blushes of all time. Okay, now we are going to line the lips. I'm going to use three products. I'm going to start by using MAC Stone, of course. A very underrated MAC lip liner. And then I'm using Jones Road Nude Pink. Nude Pink. Just to blend that very cool toned lip liner in. And then I'm going to use the Pillow Talk blush directly on my lips and leave that set. The most important step of literally my entire routine at the moment. Honestly, Charlotte Tilbury needs to like make hot tubs with this stuff because I would bathe in it for hours. I'm gonna leave that to set and then I will powder over it just for extra longevity but look at the glow that that gives. Like it settles a little bit but I am left so glowy all day long. All the live long day and I love it. Makeup discovery of the year. I'm quitting it now and it's only February. You guys, my fucking Jimmy Choo's just broke. I am so late. Let's go. Me running to dinner because my room is a million miles away from the elevator and I am so late. <laughs> Today is not my day. Today is really not my day. Thank you. Yes, guys. Not me not ordering my own dessert but trying absolutely everyone else's. I'm gonna rate them out of 10. <laughs> I would give that. That's an 8.5. Like, so good, I'm coming back for another scoop. That good. Unbelievable. <laughs> Thoughts? Creamy, fruity, the texture of the meringue. Yeah, that's good. I'm gonna Out of 10. That's, that's a 9. Ooh. I'm gonna say that that's you went 0.5 higher than me. Oh no way! Oh my god, no! I'll be the judge of that. Well, Ooh. they are good. I hope you like it. Though. What do you think? No, no, no. There's, a there's a funny like. There's a funny starting taste. Wait, why are there so many desserts? There's extra desserts. Oh my god, you guys! Come on, pass me the dessert. Dairy free is going out the window. Thank you. Wow. Oh my god, you guys, dinner last night was so fun. What jewelry should we go for today? I have so many options. I, I, I need, oh my god, I need to tell you. I don't think I told you. Aurelia have started doing vintage jewelry and it's basically like one-off pieces that they curate. And so whatever is on the vintage page, it, that is the only one that they have of it. So you have to grab it whilst it's there. And I've got the amazing earrings that I was wearing last night. I don't think I got to show you an outfit. I'll link what I was wearing. But yeah, so I was wearing these earrings, which were meant to be worn with my Jimmy Choo shoes. They're clip-ons, by the way, how fun. The Jimmy Choo shoes then broke, so I could have actually worn the Suru earrings that I was kind of leaning more towards. Or I could have worn my cute little Aurelia heart earrings. They, oh my God, would have been so nice. But we didn't have that much time to get ready, so I was in quite a rush. So I didn't have time to change anything back. So we just had to make do, but it was fine. Anyway, they're gorgeous earrings. I've got this set as well, which are like button clip-on earrings, like vintage button clip-ons. They're so nice. I might wear these today. It depends on what jacket I go for, but I do really like these. But anyway, my point being, Aurelia have started doing vintage jewelry and I just think it's so cool. And it's really nice, like affordable vintage jewelry as well. So not crazy money and it's just lovely. I'm really happy 
with these they also if you like my ring they also have rings in that kind of style as well that occasionally pop up on there which i think is so cool so i will leave a link to that if any of you are into that kind of thing especially if you prefer pieces that oh my god do if you prefer pieces that are on the more affordable end of the scale i definitely think it's one to check out oh, it's a chain ring oh god this chain ring is the bane of my existence anyway i'm very excited for the l'oreal fragrance exhibition today this is right up my street by the way armani 102 the best creamy peachy nude lipstick I'm wearing it with a KKW lip liner, which is sadly not available anymore. The Kimmy is bringing the lip liners back, so I might have to order some and see, and give them a road test for you guys. Let me know if you wanna see that. But yeah, this lipstick, lovely. Anyway, I need to pack up my stuff because we were only here for the one night. We go home early this evening, like late this afternoon. So we need to pack up our stuff and get out of here. Not me bringing four pairs of sunglasses on this trip <laughs> and all the snacks. If you're ever hungry, Come see me. I have also reached peak adulthood because there is an actual piece of fruit in my bag at all times too. you can see behind me i am in the middle of clearing out but i really wanted to show you my current glowy base routine before we go to london this morning it's valentine's day and i am actually ditching ryan and instead i have a bridesmaid dress fitting for one of my bridesmaids not for me and then i'm also going to be trying on another wedding dress yes you heard me right i am trying on a third wedding dress now this one is not going to be like a main one so i actually i'm going to consult with amelia but i she's my guru she's my content guru but i think i want to show you this one i, I don't even i haven't even fully decided on it yet but i i just want to like involve you guys in some of like i can't show you the other dresses but i kind of want to show you this one i just think it's beautiful so i'm trying it on today just just to see yeah i just really want to share something with you guys obviously we shared like some of the bridesmaid dress fitting i'm excited about this one i'm excited to just try it on it's not confirmed so i just kind of want to see i just want to see so i thought we could all do it together so yeah mega excited for that today i just love trying on wedding dresses it's literally been the highlight of getting married i love playing dress up we all know this anyway I have got some concealer on. I've started with the Bobbi Brown corrector in the inner corners. This is so loved. Look at, that is how much we've got left. It's a tiny nubbin. This is the corrector in the shade Light Peach. And then I have got two of the Hourglass concealers. I'm just trying to use one up. So I use a dark one on the outer part of my face. But I've got June on the outer parts and Pearl on the inner parts. So I put those on my face. And what I like to do is just start kind of putting the concealer in place but not really blending it too much just kind of concentrating it exactly where i need it it's quite heavy when you do it like this like you can just see yeah also i've left this for way too long and it's oxidizing and <laughs> it doesn't actually look like this <laughs> it's just going a little bit dark at the moment but bear with me so yeah we put that in place where we want it we look a little bit crazy but that's fine and then what we're gonna do is we are going to take our Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. We take our buffing brush. This is the It Cosmetics one. I adore this. I've got like three of it. Love it. And then we take some of the Beauty Pie Sheer Tinted Oil Free SPF 20. I need a new one of this because I am like on the dregs of it. And then we start to put this where we want it. Like start dotting it all over so it kind of starts to blend. But just to get this extra juiciness and a really smooth blend, we're just going to mist our face fairly generously with the setting spray and then what happens is it all magically just starts to melt together you know me i love a good makeup melt and the hourglass concealer in my opinion is one of the best products for melting all of your makeup together and getting a really nice creamy smooth glowy base it works beautifully like i have i don't know if you can see i already have the start of like a dairy breakout on my face it's literally been 48 hours is it even that since i've had 
dairy and it's already looking pretty bad but that hourglass concealer goes over blemishes so beautifully it's not the heaviest coverage but there's something about the texture of it that evens the skin texture like you can t still tell i have a spot but it helps more in terms of texture and for me that's the thing that is so rare with a concealer is actually helping with the texture of your skin and not just masking the color of a breakout if that makes sense those of you that suffer with spots will know what i'm talking about so i find it does a really beautiful job of smoothing everything out and this just adds the most phenomenal glow longevity let me just see if i can show you it's just gorgeous so glowy such a gorgeous base anyway i need to get on because i have a few bits to get done before we go to london the schedule this week is jam-packed but i'm really looking forward to today i woke up and i was just so excited can't wait to see amelia as well like i have missed her so much i have not seen her since our girls trip to hampshire that was the last time i saw her i genuinely i just have been having pangs of like sad you know and you just miss your friend so yeah can't wait to squish her and get the tea i also need to go to the post office and post a bag because the bags have sold we're going to new homes anyway i'm gonna crack on i'll be back with you in a bit outfit of the day we have got my trusty mango coat vintage aurelia earrings a top from whistles which has like this nice knitted texture to it my old Zara skirt because leopard print is making a comeback and I'm so happy about that. Calzedonia tights and All Saints boots and Dior saddlebag. This is my perfect rainy day outfit. <laughs> <Are we underdressed? laughs> no, you look you so know, cute. Last time I was overdressed and you guys were both in leggings and now this time I'm I was know. like, oh yeah, we do fittings and leggings, that like, cool girl, so I wore leggings. No, you look adorable. Style. No, I don't know what I was thinking yeah. today. I'm not I'm not happy with this. I am so prepared for I'm jealous. Thing, by the way. Yeah. I prepared a playlist of songs to practice dancing around. Have you actually? No, you haven't. Because we've got to be able to move and send dresses, otherwise what are we doing with it? Have them? I told you lately I'm obsessed with you? Yeah, also <laughs> Go on. <laughs> <laughs> Wherever you like, make yourself at home. <laughs> You've made yourself a playlist. Yeah, I was like, this would be a good song to practice on. I'm absolutely crazy. I love this so much. So the one right at the end, right is a bit more than that. This is not the best for like wooing, but it is. No, it's not. Look, it It's stretchy. It's a stunning dress. Love it. So this, this is the is Cheryl perfect. dress. This is stunning on you. Look at this. Yeah. This is gorgeous. Amazing, this dress. Yeah. Oh, the back. Ooh. Ooh. Love. Wait, no, we have to do the test, Sue. Sorry, we're going to be stuck <laughs> by the nicest of the dress. Hold on, let's see. Oh, yeah, here, here. For guessing the priority. Yes. Oh, my boobs are everywhere. That's not great. <laughs> how are you? Oh, wait, she's not on the podium. I was I like, how are you doing this? Oh, my God. No, you are. <laughs> Okay, then Susie needs a okay. water. Wait, oh my god, okay. Right, she's got your water yet. Thank you. Okay, we go back to the dance floor. Yeah, look, my tips are really going to age. I wear this. I can't tell them. Do you know what? That was my first thought when I first ever looked at that dress was, can't dance in that. Yeah. I can't be yeah. there in the background of your videos doing this. <laughs> Knock yourself the... out. Or boob tape. We could just tape yeah. them in. Suze is now trying on a... Do... Am I allowed to say what number? I've told them. Oh, yeah. you've told them. The, the third. The third wedding dress. Mm -hmm. She's low maintenance. This yeah. gal. Yeah. No, 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 Not as low maintenance as, as me, though. <laughs> my wedding planner actually called me. And yeah. she was like, I don't want you to take this the wrong way. But given your job, I thought you'd be more high maintenance. Yeah. Is the wedding still going ahead? You're at Sorry, you are an organized queen. You're light years ahead of everyone else. You are light years ahead, let me tell Super you. So, ceremonies book, baby. Well done, yeah, honestly, well you're done. so organized. Yeah. Very excited to see Susie in her third dress. I love it in here, such great it's vibes. So right, I've got my tea, I'm ready for viewing. I might just take a fro seat, here we go. Yeah. All right, ready. Okay, <laughs> go. <gasps> Oh my god! I'm crying. Oh my god, it's so good. It's amazing. Screw your wedding dress, wear this. No, this is so cute. Wait, let me stand back. Oh my god, it's giving fairy. She was a fairy. Oh. So cute. My days. I'm screaming. 
I kind of like it back because you can see the nice like shape of the neck, which I love. Yeah, oh my god. So when are we wearing this one? Evening for the main wedding. Oh, okay, okay. We've got something special planned. Okay. I need, I need to not be in a full length. Right, session. wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Insert teaser emoji here. <laughs> So nice. Let's go. Going for food with my Valentine. Thank, Thank you. you. I was a bad vlogger again yesterday. Do you know what? It's me trying to TikTok vlog and actual vlog at the same time. It's not working out for me, guys. It's not working out for me. So enjoy the TikTok vlogs whilst they last because I don't think it's going to last much longer. Anyway, good morning. I had the most fun with Amelia yesterday. It was so nice to catch up with her. I have missed her so much. I'm glad she's back in the country. Makes me very happy. She looked phenomenal in every single dress she tried on. Honestly, you guys, I have the most stunning bridesmaids. Like, it actually makes me want to cry. They're so cute. I love them all. They're all so gorgeous. They have all picked different dresses, which I love. Like, they're all so different. And this is why I wanted them all to have the, the choice of different dresses and for them just to feel like comfortable in a style that suits each of their bodies like they all have different wants different needs and it's just so nice to see them trying different things on and like actually finding the process enjoyable because I know for so many that that's just not the case and that was so important to me if honestly I just wouldn't have even done bridesmaid dresses if I couldn't have done it this way they were not like I just never wanted them to be in uniform so it's just so nice to see them enjoying the process and yeah we had so much fun she made a freaking playlist so that she could test the dresses out and i was just like yeah that is a true vibes made situation there amelia if you're watching obsessed with you and then we went for a lovely dinner after it was so chill it was so nice and i also super happy with the dress i tried on i'm super interested to get your thoughts on it i thought it would be really nice to at least share one of the dresses this one I have multiple reasons why it's kind of a good one for me to have, not just for the wedding evening, but there's also other occasions that I feel like it would be really useful for that are going to crop up over the next year. So for me, it's not just a wedding dress. It's more of a just like great white bridal occasion dress to have in my wardrobe. There's like various sheets and things that it is just going to be perfect for. So I'm really, really happy with it. It fits so well already like the alterations to it I think are going to need to be minimal all I really wanted was like a little bit more like lift and for it to just be like super snatchy and yeah I, at first I was like oh might take the length up a bit like we were discussing that because obviously I am so short but actually it was completely fine I actually think the length one is perfect so yeah I'm just super happy with it it's also fun because I got to show Ryan it when I came home good because obviously it's going to be seen before the wedding so it's not really a wedding dress but it is a wedding dress because it will be my third dress but it's going to be seen before the wedding so it was just fun because I was like oh you can actually like see a little something and it was just fun like especially like he hasn't even seen what the showroom looks like in content he's literally like not watched any content he's I think he's blocked me so it was really fun to be able to show him something and because it's really not a, it's not even like a full length dress so it just didn't feel like I'd be taking away too much so it's just like a really fun day. I just enjoyed yesterday too much. Like why is this stuff so enjoyable? I don't know. Anyway, have I showed you my outfit today? I don't think I have. Here we go. So I'm wearing this Reformation cardigan. I normally wear this like more in the summer. I decided to crack it out today. It's like giving cute, cozy vibes. I don't know. Just, just feeling it. I'm wearing my white cos jeans with a brown mango belt aurelia vintage earrings and then my current thing that i'm obsessed with doing i love taking an outfit and pairing it with uggs <laughs> some of you are going to absolutely hate this but honestly if you've tried it you will know life is so comfy like it is just so comfortable to wear uggs on a daily but also if you can style them into the outfit i think it kind of works and they just kind of look a bit like from afar they could be a brown chelsea boot until you get closer up you do not know that they're an ug i just love it i'm so comfortable right now i'm so cozy and i actually don't think it looks not cute like it's it's fine but yeah obsessed with these jeans i'm they're just my favorite thing at the moment i am contemplating getting them in the blue as well but maybe in a smaller size because there's actually so much room on the waist in both my white and my black pair that i think i should probably if i buy another pair i should probably get them a little bit more fitted because 
I have to wear belts with them, which is kind of sometimes a bit annoying. Also, they are very baggy, so I wonder if if I got a size down, if they'd just be a little bit more slim on the leg, which I, again, also would really like. So yeah, gonna test it. Yeah, this is my outfit of the day. Love and life. Also, my hair has so much volume today. It is wild. And the colour is perfect right now. And guess who has a hair appointment tomorrow morning? Yeah, this girl. Why is it that hair always just looks so cool the day before you're about to go and have it done? I'm not okay. I'm not okay for it. But also, I do need to have it done. Like, I actually can't avoid this because of the amount of greys that are sitting. And also, there's some fine baby hairs around the front that are kind of starting to do it as well. So I can't get away with not going. But how sad is it that hair does this? Like, I take care of you, I trim you, I eat all the good things for you, I take my gummies, I use heat protectant. I'm so gentle with you when I brush you, and this is how you betray me. It's just rude. Anyway, moving on. You guys, Ryan is making salsa for his food Instagram. He's just asked me to make a cameo. How cute is this? Oh my god. I'm so excited. I feel so honoured. By the way, can you confirm? Have you blocked me on TikTok? I might have done. Because we were discussing the I don't really go on TikTok. The dress. Much, but no, it's just come up saying so posted a video. Oh. I just don't I, yeah, just don't really go on there. I don't even know how to block, so no. Anyway, okay. What am I doing? You're doing just eating a bite and pretending it's really nice for the camera. <laughs> By the way, for those of you that wanted the salsa recipe, I managed to pull some strings for you guys. Thank you later. Is. Here it is. Is it rolling? Are we rolling? Yeah, okay, so I'll, I'll be holding it. You enter. Because like, maybe I should just like, oh, can I come out from behind you? Yeah. And be like... Yeah, so I'll be, I'll be shutting it. Can you see me? No. Ready? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Well, just when I move my arms in. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I need to see. We'll see in the edit. Oh my god, you should shout there. Mm. I haven't got avocado in, but I was thinking, because I was doing it with nachos, you probably have a separate avocado, like a separate rock. You can just say, like. You can also add avocado. Yeah, I know. But then I started thinking, do I do like a trio of dips for nachos? And then I was like, no, I'm just Yes, on a different day. Oh yeah, maybe on a different day. Mm. But I just, I'm just making this harder. I will link it if it's live. Thanks. You're welcome. Wait, are you talking to me? I'm talking to, I'm talking to the peoples. <laughs> Not you. Also, look what I got. My request every year. A heart balloon. And roses. The roses I got a week ago, so they're not looking as snazz as you, but I love my balloon. It's so cute. I am a mess. It's been a while since we last spoke. We have had a should we've had can't speak. We've had a shrimp situation. We've had a situation with Shrimpy. She has been sick, but there was also blood. We are just kind of monitoring her and seeing if we need to take her to like the emergency vets in the night. Things seem to be okay for now, but I'm obviously freaking out. So yeah, we're just currently monitoring her. I'm about to cancel all of my weekend's plans. But yeah, I'm hoping that she is going to be okay. But yeah, like I said, I'm just really freaked out. And that's all, that's literally, I have no words other than that. Oh my word, I feel like I've been crying for so long. My face is going to be so puffy. The older shrimpy gets, the more I freak out. Like every time there's even like the slightest thing wrong. Like when she was younger, she used to just like throw up all the time and I'd just be like, oh, there we go, here we go again. But now she's older, I just, I can't hold it together when things start going wrong. But we called the emergency vet and she, cause she doesn't have any other symptoms. I feel like they're not super worried, but obviously to me and Ryan, she is our, entire world so we're like just you just say the word mate and we will bring her we will bring her down right now i don't care that it's like nearly midnight i will i will bring her in i wish i had a happier note to end this vlog on but i need to go to bed because i 
I'm exhausted. So I will keep you guys updated. I will see you in the next vlog. Yeah.